here everyone welcome back to the channel i'm leo reese thank you guys for watching welcome back to rrln and i want to give you guys three quick tips before you become a dasher instacarter or an uber eater and hopefully that's okay with me saying that i, I don't know the right word to say for people that do uber <laughs> either than you just an uber eater so number one i want to say is understand the importance of your car so if you're going to get on these platforms you have to understand the car you drive is very important and why i say that is i pay about this year i think i paid three thousand dollars in maintenance fees and not counting the repair costs i've had done to my car so picking the right vehicle is very important when you become a dasher because it is your lifeblood. You have to remember, if you choose to be one of these independent contractors, you have to keep up with your car. So I encourage you to really do some due diligence in making sure that you have the right car for the job. Something that won't break down, something that does not require a lot of maintenance. I remember when I first started doing this, I was using my Chrysler 300, and the big problem I had with my Chrysler was that every time I had a repair problem, they could not use generic parts. It had to be Chrysler parts. And that became very, very expensive. And then eventually my car broke down on me and I had to buy a new one. So the car is very important, which leads to the second thing, gas. Gas is not cheap. If you get the wrong kind, I see some people that be out here doing DoorDash, Instacart, and Uber. I encourage you guys, if you use a larger vehicle, I would say stick to doing Instacart because doing all the driving around that you have to do with Uber Eats and DoorDash, you should not be using a, a truck or a, a mid-sized car. You really need to have something that is a four-door car that a four-door car <laughs> a smaller car than a typically big one because i pay right now every gas trip and i fill my tank every other day is thirty dollars a pump so if you just do the math that's about anywhere from a hundred dollars to a hundred and twenty dollars every week that's a cost that cuts into my earnings, that cuts into my weekly, monthly earnings, or however you want to say, that's almost eleven, twelve thousand dollars $12,000 a year just in gas. So that's another thing you have to have in the back of your mind is how much gas are you wasting? Especially, this is why I always tell you guys, do not take far deliveries. I mean, you can, but you really got to make sure you're getting paid well for it. And then the third thing I would say, guys, is you have to know what is the amount. The third tip I would give you is that you need to know what amount are you trying to make. So if you're making $15 an hour, that's typically around somewhere around $25,000 to $30,000 a year, depending if you get, you know, some overtime, some double time, something like that. But if you're getting the basic $15 an hour, you're making annually somewhere around $30,000. So you have to look and say, okay, how much are you coming out here to make? It's very important. Do the math. So if you're making, let's just say $100, how much of that is going to gas? How much wear and tear are you putting in your car? Because when you break it down, you may find out that, hey, it's better that I just give me a $15 an hour job and maybe do DoorDash Instacart on the weekends. Now, I've done the math, and it fits me well to do what I'm doing full-time because I make more than enough to compensate for the gas, compensate for the wear and tear on my car, and still make a little bit extra to do some other things. And one of the biggest things I'm going to be doing this year is just really focusing on getting out of debt and investing. So just thought I'd give you guys those three quick tips you got to know where you stand before you become a dasher, before you become, before you do. In Sorry, one, I did not have enough memory in my phone, so it cut off. But what I was saying before you start doing these 
independent contracting jobs. Know where you stand. Know what you're trying to get out of it. And make sure you have the right tool for the job, which is your car. It's very, very important. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you guys, what you think about it. Leave me a like or a dislike. And you guys stay blessed. Take care and I'll get at you later.